Hi, my name is Matt Taddy. I'm the Vice President for Economic Technology at Amazon. As COVID-19 continues to evolve, I wanted to check in with our seller community with a little note on what we're seeing and what we're thinking about as the pandemic continues. Lockdowns are easing. People are starting to go back to work. However, the situation remains one where physical distancing is a part of everyday life, where many more people are working from home than they were before, and where we're converging to something that looks like a new normal, but it's different than the previous normal. Prior to March, we would have about 2% of our traffic in the top 100 search terms. In March, we had 13% of traffic concentrated in the top 100 search terms. So customers were looking for more of the same set of narrow things. Now, in April and May, we're down to about 5% of traffic in the top 100 search terms. So this new normal, still higher concentration than the original 2% that we had prior to March, but much less concentrated than what we saw in March. There are a number of categories where demand remains very high, much higher than it was in March, and it shows some sign of sticking around for the longer term. One notable category is hygiene and medical supplies, which includes things like um, hand sanitizer and face masks, but also you know, more regular trimming or grooming supplies like razors. Um, and in this category, demand is up 200%, more than 200% during April and May relative to what it was prior to March. We're also seeing a massive increase in demand for the supplies that you would use to build face masks. Demand there for things like elastic, uh, uh, the elastic strapping is up over 4,000% uh, relative to what it was prior to March. We are also seeing a big sustained increase in demand in the categories that are related to things people need when they are isolated in their houses. So for example, cleaning supplies, um, demand for cleaning supplies is way, way up. Um, with the kids all out of school uh, in many places still, demand for what you would need for having your kids around the house more and for homeschooling them is through the roof. So things like arts and crafts supplies, children's books and such. Um, but also now, you know, things like outdoor above ground pools that everybody wants to use now that the weather's getting nicer and uh, that make it easier to get outside and enjoy summer while still being socially isolated. Um, the other main driver is the sustained uh, uh, reality of work from home, right? As you can see, I'm, I'm in my home. Many of you are isolated in your homes. And so we're seeing that uh, the demand uh, continues for those items that you need when you work from home. Uh, including kind of the original big purchases such as standing desks or monitors, but also the more sustained work from home purchases like paper, uh, pens, the sort of things that uh, you would usually use as office supplies at the office and you're now having to stock up on. One of the things that we can do is we can look at geographies that have uh, emerged from, from physical isolation or gone to less restrictions earlier. So for example, Germany, uh, which has, you know, reduced many of the lockdown measures, we're still seeing that demand for face masks is extremely high. Um, we're also seeing that demand for work from home uh, supplies remains extremely high. And even the things that you might think you only need to buy once, you know, office furniture, webcams, things like that, we're still seeing sustained demand as the workforce settles into a longer and longer work from home environment. But we're also seeing kind of a return to normalcy in terms of a lot of the things that you would see spiking for a regular summer season coming up on the top. So again, items like outdoor pools, barbecue grills, swimwear, things that people want uh, in order to have to enjoy the summer season, even if it's gonna be a summer season that's a little bit weird because there's a lot of physical distancing measures still in place. One thing that's super clear is that online shopping is gonna play a massive role in this new normal. Um, and we are deeply appreciative of all of the work that sellers are doing in order to get the great new selection in front of our customers and make it so that they can shift their purchasing as much as they need to, increase their online purchasing as much as they need to in order to get the stuff that they want and enjoy the summer season and be productive while working from home.